Hey loves, Miss Jolly Sims here and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I bring to you a brand new episode of Tangled and you guys, today's episode is super exciting. You guys know last episode we did go to San Sequoia because we are planning on moving you guys and I am so happy for them because it's, I feel like it's been a long time coming. Like I feel like it's been a long time coming. However, they do have a lot of things that they are going to have to sort out before they move and that is where is all this stuff going to go because they're not going to have enough money for storage and not only that but um miss marie here she is indecisive because honestly if you guys want to know the truth javi wants to move to winningburg and marie wants to move to san sequoia because that is where she is originally from and she feels like if they're ever going to actually start a family she wants her family to you know be in san sequoia well they finally discussed everything and Marie finally won. She won everything like she wanted. And Javi was like, okay, babe, you know, we can move to San Sequoia, but we're not moving into that house. So I know you guys, last episode, we did end that episode off on looking at a house and Marie just, for some reason, she just didn't want that house anymore because it was just in a un, I guess, in an uneventful place. And she was just like, I want to be away from the road, especially if we have kids in the future and things like that. And so Javi did some research and he did some searching and then they stumbled across these beautiful people. So this is V. Vita. Vita is actually a realtor. It says unemployed just because she is self-employed. She is a realtor and her and her husband actually owns a realtor business. This is her husband, Lionel, and both of them are, you know, they are really sweet people and they reached out to, um, Real, this is what had to happen. I know I'm giving you guys a long backstory, but Marie had to sign a application because of the simple fact at the time she wasn't employed. Yes, she's employed now. Uh, she is a writer, of, you know, she's a writer assistant. And that is because like she finally decided to go ahead and get a job because it had a lot to do with them buying a house and they needed, he, uh, well, Javi needed a co-signer and Marie couldn't co-sign if, you know, she was unemployed. So she did have to hurry up and get a job and she decided to get something that she liked but back to what I was saying so um they are going to be you know kind of like doing some things like that today we do have plans we need to meet with the realtor tomorrow we have a park outing that we want to take with our hobby here and I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right into it so Marie is actually over here feeling super flirty she's super excited you guys but she did do a ton of research which I think that is kind of like what she's gonna end up doing right now she's gonna come over here and probably you know just do some research about like you know all of these things that you have to have when you are buying a house and she's just trying to you know get into it because to be completely honest they are really tired of you know the issues that is coming with this apartment wow. such as like the roaches Ugh, like they're happening and now like the roaches in here it's just disgusting and to be completely honest like Marie is just so over it which I don't blame her however I do believe we are going to be going over a lot of things that they're going to kind of like need when it comes to buying a house tomorrow. And, you know, she doesn't contact her realtor. Her realtor does have a time frame where you can contact them. And that is from 8 o'clock in the morning to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So it is 6 p.m. So she doesn't have any questions right now. But um, Javi is just like, a come, he's like relaxing and he's just like walking around the house. He's honestly just sick of like these bugs. He's sick of these roaches. And honestly, he is just like ready to move and I don't blame them you guys like they didn't stay in this apartment well I say they didn't stay in this apartment long but um they have been here for quite some time and it's been the same issues I like to think Javi and Marie have been in this apartment for like a couple of years now and I feel like you know them being married was like the step that they needed to take to you know just kind of like move on and you know, I'm ready for them to move into their somewhat dream home. It is thunderstorming here in San Machuno. And I'm going to be completely honest. Like, I don't play in apartments long in The Sims. But I really did love this for them. But the fact that we just have, like, these nasty roaches. Like, Marie is cooking and she's looking over here. She's like, oh, my God. Like, I swear I just seen a bug here. She's like, Javi. Oh, my God. Babe. I think she's going to be like, babe. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't 
deal with this and he's like marie what is the matter baby she's like i i can't javi there's roaches everywhere in here he's like okay well maybe it's because i haven't cleaned out the fridge and i think javi's gonna just like sit his drink down which will just pop his little water um kind of like i guess right where it was i was gonna say move it a little bit closer to the computer but javi's just like let me make sure i clean up um maybe i need to um empty the trash maybe the roaches will go away if i clean up a little bit more around here he knows that marie is severely uncomfortable and he does not like to see that he does not like to see her uncomfortable but i do believe marie has um some tasks that she needs to finish for her job she is a writer assistant so she does need to go ahead she does have a book that she's actually working on so i'm gonna have her go ahead and resume writing that book simply because that's kind of like something that she needs to do and um she is in her happy place and yes um javi can be cheerful but she's in her happy place and she's just like thinking like oh my god i cannot wait until we move out of here because like she is dreaming that she has an office now i will say the house that they i don't think i went over this but the house that they did end up picking in the last episode of tangled um was not the house that they are actually getting they did put in javi has really good credit okay <laughs> and they put in um they put in for that one house because that realtor specifically said that that was the house that, you know, that's the only house in San Sequoia that was open, you know, for people to move in. And then another house came available and they instantly fell in love. And that is the house that they're actually going to go inquire about tomorrow when they go and meet the realtor. So I'm super excited about that. Like, I mean, Marie is head over heels like for this house. She cannot wait. And Javi is is super excited as well it does have a pool you guys and i think originally uh we'll go over how much that house is once we go back over there tomorrow but i'm super excited for them and <laughs> i know that they're gonna be happy but i think javi is gonna come in here and sit down and i think he has like some programming things that he kind of needs to do i think he was modding a game but i think he finished it i'm trying to make sure um he's done so yeah i'm gonna have him go ahead and mod a another game and marie is just over here working on a book i think oh it says read book not work on a book but she's over here working on the book that she had and i think she's gonna go ahead and stop and probably come in here and get herself together our neighbor actually wanted to come in the other day when she smelled us like when she smelled food cooking and marie was like absolutely not like i don't even know you <laughs> like i don't know you at all like marie is a little bit like she's not necessarily like a very like outgoing person she's just kind of like you know she likes to be to herself like that is marie to the t she does not like you know people coming in and out of her home and as you guys can see marie did change her wardrobe around just a little bit she did change her wardrobe around because she felt like you know she's a married woman now and i think she wants to get a little bit pretty you know just so javi can wake up to the woman that he loves <laughs> just kidding but no Marie really did want to change up like her style and whatnot so I love that for her but she's just like oh my god I cannot wait like tomorrow we are going to meet the realtor and it was hard to get them on schedule like the realtor was really just like super nice to Marie and Javi and she was like you know I can fit you guys in as soon as possible and I think what Marie is gonna do is come in here and maybe grab some TV she's gonna go ahead and watch some TV and we are going to I don't all lights you guys know that our bills are <laughs> y'all know bills come crazy oh my god no are you feeling uncomfortable again <gasps> no you guys marie is just like oh my god i feel so so bad again oh my god it's burning when i pee again <sighs> okay well i think she's gonna she can't go to the doctor right now because of the simple fact that you know the doctor's offices are closed so she can't go to the doctor right now but marie is noticing a very similar feeling she's like oh my god like what is happening and i think she's gonna go over here and she's gonna talk to javi she's like babe oh my god i feel that sen you know that sensation that i had before that when i used the bathroom and it didn't feel well and he's like yeah i do she's like oh my god i'm feeling that feeling again he's like okay babe well how about you go ahead and go in there and get you some rest and we'll we'll take you to the doctor in the morning and she's like okay well i have to go before we go meet the realtor and he's like yeah well everything's gonna be okay marie just go ahead and go in there and go to sleep and we'll deal with that in the morning and so marie just went off to bed and 
Javi is just like, oh, this girl and her little issues. I don't know what's going on. And I think he is like instantly thinking like maybe we should probably start eating healthy, drinking healthy. Like Marie loves sodas. And I do believe that is like contributing to her UTI. So I think Javi is going to probably talk to Marie about like getting on a health plan because right now Marie has like so many issues and <laughs> I just can't. But Javi is modding a game right now and it is taking him quite a bit of time. So I'm going to go ahead and have him finish that and I will talk to you guys early in the morning. Guys, it is early in the morning and Marie literally woke up last night. She woke up like five times to use the bathroom and she's like oh my god i am gonna wake up bright and early this morning it is six o'clock and marie is just like i cannot deal with this i have to use the bathroom every five seconds i cannot deal with this today we are supposed to be going to meet the realtor there's just too much going on so i think what she's gonna do is try to hurry up and use the bathroom and she's gonna brush her teeth and she's gonna get ready and she's probably gonna go ahead and wake javi up and just tell him that she's about to um go to the doctor she wants to go as soon as possible because we do have a appointment with the realtor probably around it says six but I think we're gonna move it back to like a 10 o'clock so hopefully Marie can go to the doctor and you know feel well and hopefully we can manage to get our day going but Marie really doesn't feel good today and she does not want to deal with you know not feeling well and having to go out and you know miss this whole appointment it is eight o'clock so hopefully she can make it back but Javi is just like, um, let me um, probably check in with the realtor. I'll call Lionel and see if, um, let me just go over here to my phone. I think what he'll do is probably uh, call Lionel and see if he can just like, you know, push it back if, if need be and, you know. Hopefully, hopefully we can do that. He's like, hey, Lionel, uh, my wife had a um, emergency this morning. Um, she had to go to the doctor, and uh, I know that we have an appointment at 10 o'clock, and I just wanted to see if we could push it back just a little bit um, if she's late. If not, we can keep the same appointment. He's like, yeah, man, that's perfectly fine. Um, I hope she hope she gets better. He's like, oh, thank you so much. Um, So what's the new time? He's like, uh, well, if she can't make it at 10, we could do 1 o'clock. How about that? He's like, okay, okay, that sounds great, so. Yeah, okay. Um, and I think what he'll do is probably send a quick text to um, Marie. I think he'll send her a text and be like, hey, babe. Um, yeah, they said that, you know, we can move it back to 1 o'clock if need be. Um, but hopefully, how, how's the doctor's appointment? She's like, I'm still in the waiting room. <sighs> but hopefully, hopefully, I'll be I'll be back in time. He's like, okay. He's like, yeah. Um, so, yeah, babe, everything's fine. So he is just, like, trying to get his mind off of, like, he's hoping Marie feels better. Like, he is, he's kind of, like, just trying to pass the time. He's going to go ahead and put her food away. When she gets home, she can kind of, like, I guess, pick back up on eating. But he's just like, ugh, I hope she feels, I hope she feels good. He did finish up modding his game and um, fixing that he's going to, come in here and brush his teeth i know you guys are probably like girl he is so hairy but honestly javi loves to be hairy he did shave his chest though so i mean i gave him that he shaved his chest and <laughs> he's honestly just like waiting on um he's just waiting on marie so we can get home because uh, the appointment is at 10 o'clock and he did move it to one so I feel like Javi is just like trying to pass the time, but he's going to come in here and pick out his outfit for it today. Um, I feel like he's always in the same outfit, but it is fairly warm. So I'm going to have him come in here and dress in this and then go ahead and, you know, kind of like try to get things ready. And as we speak and trying to get out of this house, roaches are still over here. You guys, they're still just like living their best lives in our apartment. And that is the reason why they are so ready to get out of this apartment even though I love I love apartment living you guys like I love it so much but I do think that Marie and Javi are just both kind of like over it they're ready to leave and I don't blame them. I am going to miss this little apartment, but <laughs> but I mean, it's time to move on um, to better things. And honestly, you know, it is what it is. And oh, Marie has made $3 from Tangled and she made a couple of, oh wait, no, work for Marie starts in an hour. Oh my God, Marie is just like, oh no, dang it, babe. I forgot to tell my job that I'm off today. Oh my gosh. She's like, oh no, 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 no. Um, I gotta, I gotta call my job. Um, uh, dang it. This 
this is my first day of work and we got this okay well hopefully hopefully they're okay we're gonna go ahead and get marie to call into work and she's gonna be like um hey oh my god i'm so sorry i know this is my first day but i have some important things that i have to do today um can i take today off they're like oh sure marie yeah it's fine um <laughs> enjoy your day off and she's like oh thank god um she has another UTI. Marie is not happy at all about that. But it is 1028 and Javi and Marie are both ready to go ahead and meet the um, realtor. So I'm going to go ahead and have them um, go out. Oh, Donna, uh, Marie, go out there, ask me out. I'm sure, sure, mom. I mean, sure. Sure, TT, of course. But I'm going to go ahead and have Marie and Javi go and meet the realtors. And I'll talk to you guys Marie once we get over there. She's like, after running a little bit late and just checking her phone and trying to make sure she got everything in order with Javi grabbing all of the files and her waiting and calling and trying to get everything together, they are finally here at the office in San Sequoia, which is going to be their brand new forever home in San Sequoia. Um, but right now they are just here talking to Vita, who is their realtor and Javi is just sitting over there while Marie and Vita just have a conversation about the house and she's like, hey, Vita, so um, we were just looking around in the area. Um, I really wanted to know, like, what houses do you have available? And Vita's like, hey, um, well, I have to look on my um, computer to see, but I do need to check out your credit score. I need to, um, you know, see all of that thing. And she's like, okay, well, who's employed right now? And who's been employed the longest? And she's like, oh, um, Javi's been employed the longest. Um, he He's been employed, you know, the longer portion of time than I have. And she's like, okay, well, um, I'll get on, you know, checking out Javi's um, credit uh -huh. score. Uh -huh. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going through all of these things. But I do want to go ahead and say before I get on my computer and start looking up houses, you guys, um, you will have to put a thousand down depending on the um, payments of the house and things like that. And Marie's like a thousand down. She's like, yeah, a thousand down. She's like, okay, um, we, we got that. She's like, okay, great. Well, I'm going to go ahead and check out um, Javi's credit score. And uh, we'll see what you guys are approved oh, for. And Marie's oh, like, <laughs> okay. Vita's like, okay, um, I'm looking, I'm looking through. And she's like, hmm. Uh, but, so it looks like, uh, Javi, it looks like that you've been working at, mm, what, manual labor? And Marie's like, yeah, he's been working at manual labor for quite some time. And she's like, it's okay, Marie, you can calm down. I'm just looking, I'm just trying to make sure I check everything. And I'm just putting Javi's credit score, um, through. And we're just, we're just going to see what you guys get approved for today. Um, we do have two houses available here in San Sequoia. So, you know, I'm just looking through. It's okay, just calm down. And Marie's like, I know, this is just my first time ever, you know, <laughs> my first time ever, you know, buy, like in the home buying process, we have an apartment that has just been absolutely disgusting. And Vita's like, oh, I, yeah, I, I completely understand. I, I get it. But, um, well, it looks like we have two houses available. I think I've already mentioned that. And she's like, okay, so here's the thing with credit. Um, so credit pretty much covers the entire house, right? It incur it. It basically covers everything. And he's like, okay, um, well, yeah, I have my check stubs here and, you know, everything like that. And I will, if, how much does credit cover? And she's like, okay, so how much does credit cover? And, you know, just let me know because I don't, I'm not really sure. And Vita's like, okay, so you will have to put a thousand dollars down today to secure your spot, um, for this house, particularly, um, the sale of this house really runs around, um, I think 19,000, um, depending on whether you want it furnished or unfurnished it's a lot of unfun stuff i know but she's like if you want it furnished then it's going to be um a little bit more but your credit covers uh the unfurnished portion of this house and i think you know that is kind of like something that i really recommend for first time home buyers is i highly recommend you get something unfurnished that way you can build it up the way that you want to and javi's like okay and vita's like okay so would you guys like to go out and see this house and of course marie and javi's like i mean absolutely yes we would love to see this house and um i'm super excited i can't wait and vita's like okay well um the last thing that i'm gonna ask for you guys if you guys are going to um 
you know put your position in today i am going to need a thousand dollars down um before we um you know make sure you guys want it so we're gonna go ahead and head over and um you guys can drive in your car we can have an uber and i think maria's gonna be like we'll drive in our car and she's like okay well um let's go ahead and head out to you guys hopefully potential new home and marie's like okay well i gotta go to the bathroom first so marie pulls up and she sees this beautiful beautiful house and she is like oh my gosh so what happened was let me just give you guys a little bit of backstory about marie so marie did a application online which is the reason why she didn't go through the um like the deeply, I guess we'll say the, there's two home buying processes, right? So there is the, uh, we'll say the realist uh, mod, we'll say that that home buying process is the traditional, you know, everyday like bank home buying process. But Marie put in an application to go through a um, private realtor, if that makes sense. And this realtor Marie felt like it was better and like you kind of get a chance to actually build a bond with your realtor build trust with your realtor and she felt like this was the way that she wanted to go and Marie did inquire about things that she would love to have dreamed for in a home and she really didn't think that their first home buying together would have like a pool but that is something that Marie really really wanted because she like in the future when they decide to have children down the line I know I'm giving like a backstory this may be over dramatic but you guys know I'm invested okay <laughs> but um like I feel like when like Marie you know has kids in the future she wants to her kids to be able to have that experience that she had as a child which is on summer days you come out here you grilled hot dogs hamburgers and things like that and you have a pool to get in and she did want a ground pool but she knew that it would just hike up the interest and they don't have a lot of money as you guys can see but Javi has amazing credit and she pulled up here and she is like oh my goodness because the realtor said that she had something you know else to show them and she's like oh my god i love this Marie is like thank you so much you i can't believe that you found literally my dream here and i think what she's gonna do is probably give her a hug and she's like oh my god yes and i think she's gonna come over here and try to talk to javi honestly you guys javi is over it javi is honestly just in a mood and i think it's slightly because he doesn't like change but i think marie is gonna come over here and apologize and she's also going to just be like babe like are you okay like what's the matter and Javi's a little bit he's a little bit sad like he's a little bit angry he doesn't really um she's like babe calm down this is this is this is for the best this is great um and I think Vita's like okay you two well it seems as if you like the house maybe and Javi's like mm yeah uh whatever and i think he's just like this is from the fear of being cheated on i think javi is honestly just like a little bit he's a little bit tired he's overly tired he thought that he was doing really really a good a great job when marie and him got the apartment but yeah he's he's on board he's just a little he's being a man basically and marie's just like babe i think this is awesome for us i'm super excited like yes i love this for us and i think she's gonna go ahead and get into a deep conversation she's gonna be like babe I think we should move here. I love it. And Javi's like, okay, babe. Yeah, we 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 are doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> we're we're gonna get it. And Vita's like, okay, well, um, let's go ahead and head on back to the office. And I mean, unless you want to look around, and I think um what Marie will do is probably come over here and just like, you know, look around, look on the property, see how the backyard is, which truly there's not really much to the backyard but I mean I feel like over here it makes up for that so if they decided one day they didn't want to pull or whatever the case was you know they could um you know change it and whatnot so I do feel like that would be a thing and Javi is just walking around he's really sad I don't know what's wrong with him I'm actually gonna get rid of that because that like he he's not sad at all he's actually very excited for them to be like moving and he's just like looking around and Marie's gonna come over here and look around as well and she's like oh my god I love this. This is so beautiful. I'm going to also um, control Vita because um, she's like walking away. Oh, okay. She wants to chat with Javi. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to control her as well. But 
Marie is looking around and she's just like, oh my God, this is so beautiful. She is so excited, you guys. She's all in it. Like she is just super excited. But Vita's like, okay, well, um, it is getting late and my hours of work is almost over. So we can go ahead and head to the office and you guys can put a thousand down and then we need to discuss a little bit more, um, a little bit more. So Vita's like, okay, um, so Javi, so your credit covered majority of that house. It is 19000 and as you guys can hear, Vita's husband is actually in here and he's like, hey, babe, is everything going going great? I think I'm probably going to end up heading home in a minute. And she's like, okay, um, Lionel, you can go ahead and head home. But um, yeah, so you guys, I'm going to go ahead and put down um, you for that house. Uh, do, you, are you, do you guys agree? And he's like, which house did you show them, babe? And she's like, oh, the one over there. Um, I can't even think where it was, um, where it was located. But yeah, I showed them the good one. But babe, um, I need to do something. You're talking way too much. I need to go ahead and put them in so we can, um, you know, do it. Marie's like, oh my God, Lionel is so silly. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and put you guys down for that house. Um, I'm going to need a thousand, um, you know, a thousand dollars up front. And um, you guys are going to have to pick out a um, moving day. So I do have dates available. Um, I'm looking looking right here and it seems that I have Saturday, Monday and Tuesday available for you to um, move. So you can either move out of your apartment, but you do have um, from here up until Saturday, Monday or Tuesday to move. Um, so those are my availabilities. Other days I do have to, you know, do realtor things and things like that. And Marie's like, okay. So Marie's like, okay, um, Vita, the money should have came through. And she's like, oh, okay, I got it. Uh, but thank you. So you guys, spot is secure. Um, I want you guys to go home and fill out some paperwork and make sure you guys have a set moving date and make sure you send it to me. Um, probably a little bit later on um, tomorrow, um, eight o'clock in the morning to two o'clock is my available hours and marie is like oh my god thank you so much vita and she's like okay yeah of course you're ready I'm, I, you guys are ready to move into your house and i'm so happy that i could be a help everyone is super excited and i think what marie is going to do is she's gonna get up and she's gonna be like oh my god babe and i think she's gonna probably end up kissing javi and she's just like oh my god we babe we got our house oh, i cannot believe it uh but finally we could do a housewarming party and she, he's just she's just like talking she's like are you ready to go home and he's like yeah i'm ready to go home so javi and marie are finally back home and to be completely honest javi is already annoyed with the roaches and bugs in this house and it has just been it's, it's it's already annoying and they're like oh my god i'm so happy that we are moving um but we do need to pick a day so what i think marie is going to do is she's going to probably sit here and get on the computer and she's like okay let me see which day are available so she said Saturday Monday and Tuesday um, it is Thursday and I think what Marie is going to actually do is come over here and she's gonna be like hey um, babe so we do need to talk about which day we are going to be um, moving I I honestly think that Saturday would be perfect I don't think we should wait till Monday or Tuesday and I think Marie is just going to be like, you know, she's just thinking, she's like, oh my God, this, it can't, this is happening. Like this is happening. Like, I can't believe that. And she's going to go over here and she's going to be like, Hey, babe, are you, are you okay? Like, do you want to do this? And I think he's just like, yes, babe, of course I want to do this. And she's like, I love you. This is a new era for us. Like I'm super excited. And he's like, yeah, I am. He's like, so which day do you think we should move? And he's like, Saturday, babe. Um, Saturday. I think we already talked about that Saturday. She's like, okay, well, I'm going to put it in my phone. I'm going to mark my calendar and I'll message Vita tomorrow. So Saturday it is. So let me go ahead and pop this in my calendar. And I think Marie would go ahead. Oh, she's so extra with adding things on her calendar and I think what she's gonna do is she's gonna be like okay um what should we call this day okay we should call it um moving day I think that's perfect and she of course is gonna see if she can find a sticker to meet the aesthetic of her moving and she's just gonna be like hmm which one of these stickers go the best with the most exciting day like she has not really felt this because even though they did move into this apartment um really Marie truly felt like you know it's just 
you know, this apartment was given. It was kind of given. It wasn't anything that they had to actually buy. This is their actual home, you guys. Ooh, perfect. Um, we are going to make them get off of work. But this is like something, this is super exciting to Marie. And, you know, this is not nothing that she's ever felt before. And she's like, okay, babe, um, I put it down for Saturday. We do need to clean up and just kind of like make sure we look at some things that we want to get. But it is 2 o'clock in the morning. And I think Marie is going to want to actually celebrate with Javi. I think she's going to be like, oh, babe, so do you want to have some spicy time? Maybe we can um, woohoo here. Sure. Maybe Maybe we could go ahead and, you know, woohoo and, you know, just like and celebrate. Like, I mean, we, we can't break in that. Well, we'll probably end up breaking in the house. Woohoo with the roaches around. <laughs> Marie woke up this morning with the worst headache and she honestly feels so annoyed. And also not only that, but um, her and actually Mandy have fallen out of touch with each other, which I mean, rightfully so. She doesn't really talk to her friends that much, but today is a day before moving day and she just cannot think like... Like these roaches are just in here and they are legit everywhere. And Marie is just like so done and she just cannot have it. Like she, one more night here in this freaking, <laughs> one more night here in this, um, nasty, um, what is it called? Nasty apartment. And then, you know, we, we get to leave, we get to live without these roaches. So Marie just is, she's just like, okay, I'm going to suck it up. Even though it's disgusting in here, I'm just going to suck it up. Oh, TT, what do you want? Um, you won't believe me and Gunther had, uh, me and Gunther is such a sweetheart and I'm in love. Oh, congratulations, Titi. Now you with some romance going on. But if you guys don't see, Marie is actually on birth control. She's on the pill. She's officially just like on the pill. Uh, but she does not. I don't know if her mood has changed versus like having kids and whatnot. No, her mood still hasn't changed. She still does not want kids. And Harvey, um has a fear of being cheated on which is a little bit you know kind of like suspect I don't know why but I feel like Javi is starting to like kind of like think about that night at the villa and why Marie was literally coming from across the hall when he knew Emiliano was across the hall and you know he keeps thinking about that periodically he's like okay Maybe I'm, maybe I'm just overthinking, but it was just crazy how Marie came in. And not only that, but apparently Marie, Marie had this very familiar smell to her when she came in that room. You know what I'm saying? Like she had that very familiar smell and Javi just could not remember where that smell, he, where he, where he smelled that smell from, you know? And he's just like, hmm. This is crazy. Like, I know I've smelled that smell before, but he, he, he is not coming to him just yet. But he's going to go ahead and use the bathroom. He really has to use the bathroom this morning. And Marie is flirty, you guys. She is just all happy. She's all happy-go-lucky. Tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, they are finally moving. And she's just, she's super excited. She can't wait. But she's having her a cup of coffee. We do need to kind of, like, resume life as normal. We will be picking up stuff probably Friday um so it is not the last night in the house and to be honest I think I'm gonna um move this I'm gonna actually move this to Friday simply because I forgot she completely forgot Vita misinformed her and was like I'm sorry not Saturday we don't work on the weekends we only work on the weekdays so Friday Monday and Tuesday are your only days and she's like okay well we can move it to Friday then how about we you know go ahead and just move um it to Friday it's great news for her so we are gonna go ahead and change this to moving day so moving day is actually Friday you guys and not Saturday she was like oh my god this I mean it's better news you know it's it's great news we only have um what one more day left in this house so that is great news and we'll go ahead and get rid of this for Saturday because she completely forgot she was like oh my god oh yeah of course you know you work on the weekdays we get it I get it but Javi is just in here and honestly Javi wants to actually work on some programming this morning he's like okay I'm gonna go over here and you know get started on not writing I'm sorry he's gonna go over here and he's gonna get started on you know just kind of like continue making his plug-in that he was making before and Marie is actually sitting over 
here. She's like thinking, oh my God, I cannot wait. I mean, I need something to pass the time. So I'm going to have her go ahead and resume writing. And they're both just kind of like in their element, you guys. They are super excited about, you know, tomorrow because they finally leave San Manchuno. They honestly are ready to leave San Manchuno. They can't stand it here to be completely honest and they do want to sell some stuff they have some stuff in here that they want to sell but they're gonna try to get some things ready uh, a little bit later tonight oh no Javi it's like oh my god babe my computer literally just went out like what is this and she's like oh no babe I'm well you know fix it he's like I don't have $500 to waste on this I legit just bought <laughs> I legit just bought um, you know a house hello and then you guys might might not know but if you have great credit um if you have really really good credit like it does cover a majority of like the cost of like the house and things like that so that's why Javi's credit uh kind of like covered majority of the house and I did you guys I know I know that it sounds like a cheap house with a pool, but it literally is 19000 I was like, what? You know, that's perfect. And I do want to say that that lot particularly is by, I wrote it down, that lot that I showed you guys, it is different, but it is by Tomish. Tomish I hope I'm saying that right. It's T-O-M-I-1-S-H. So Tomish. I will have their um, gallery link down, not link, but gallery name down in the description box below so you guys can go check out their Builds. I am using a lot of builds in my um, new series and another creator that I use because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be asking like hey where's this build from the houses that you guys have seen pre previously in my game are by a um, creator uh, by the name of Shimba Simsim I will leave um, their gallery handle down in the description box below and the house that we are about to move in is by Tomish I hope I'm saying that right I will leave their gallery name down in the description box below as well so you guys can go check out their bills. Yes. Marie is just like, okay, I'm, I, I, I don't know what to do. We do need to sell a lot of this stuff. There are things that we can't sell, such as appliances. So we can't, oh my God, you guys, the roaches are living rent free here. But we do need to um, sell like things like um, this stereo, which was given by our landlord. We do not need that stereo. I feel like the money that we could get from that stereo is definitely going to help us furnish our brand new home. We are going to be taking our bed in our dresser um we'll probably sell this mirror we do need to take our clothes and things like that so they're like looking around at things that they can sell so what they can sell is this washer and dryer this came with the apartment they can't sell this or any form of like like these up here these cabinets the sink they can't sell that stuff because that's unrealistic and on top of that it's just, it's pointless. So Marie right now is working on her book and Javi is over here just relaxing. And to be completely honest, he is just really thinking and he really wants to go. And you know, it's his last night in San Machuno and you guys don't know, but his friend, whoops, what, what is this? <laughs> uh, but, but you guys don't know this, but his friend Emiliano actually stays here in San Machuno. And since his computer is broken, I think Javi is going to want to head over and visit Emiliano so I think what he's gonna do is he's gonna be like hey babe um I'm actually gonna go out and um you know kind of like hang out with Emiliano since we are moving tomorrow I'm gonna just go out and you know kind of just like you know have some boy time have some us time so I'll see you when I get back and she's like oh sweet baby you want to go over there to Emiliano's house he's like yeah of course I do babe and she's like okay well I, I guess I'll see you see you when you get back and of course Marie is like thinking like oh my god please <laughs> okay so Javi is going in here and he's like, oh man, you what, what are you doing in here? Dude, I called you and you didn't answer the phone. He's like, hey, bro, man, listen, we are about to move. Hey, yeah, well, I'm sorry. I was in here working. Can you, um, let's let's go in there and sit down. Let's go in there and sit down and, you know, chit chat, chop it up because I know you ain't gonna have my buddy here after a while. He's like, yeah, man, listen, we are actually moving, dude. Like, we're leaving. We're leaving San Machuno and I can't believe it. And he's like, oh man really he's like yeah we we're gone and he's like really really sad about him leaving he's like oh no i can't believe i can't believe you leaving man i love you he's really really sad you guys he's like man 
I can't believe you're going to be leaving me. It's like, it's not that bad, Emiliano. You can relax, dude. It's, it's not that bad. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm leaving for some time. And, you know, we will still visit. Um, and we do. We, you know we're going to GeekCon together, right? Like, you, you know we're, you know we're going to go to GeekCon. And I think what he's going to do is he's going to talk about, like, a post that, you know, he um, talked about, you know, a little bit later. But he's going to be like, hey, man, where, where you going? Where you going? He's like, oh, I'm gonna go um put the book up, and Javi's just like standing out. He's like, that smell, hmm, that smell in this house. He's like, hey, uh, uh, I gotta ask you a serious question, and he's gonna be like, um, I gotta ask you a serious question, man. That smell that you have in here, what is it? Like, what? what's that smell in here? He's like, oh, that's my um cologne. Yeah, that's my cologne. Do you wanna uh see it? He's like, no. Uh, he's like, huh. and it, as you guys can see that that keeps popping up on Emiliano. That is the reason he's like thinking he's like, oh my God, he's over here. And Emiliano is really just like, man, <laughs> he keeps thinking about Marie and he's just like, dude, I, oh, dang, like he just keep on thinking about it. He's like, I don't know. I don't know what to do. Like, it's on his mind to tell Javi that he slept with Marie the day that they got married. But he's really just like, mm, I don't know. Like, it's really on his mind to kind of talk to him. He's like, hey, man, let's discuss the latest books. Like, what's going on? Like, what's been going on with you? You haven't called me. You know, we usually talk to each other. He's like, yeah, I know. He's like, man, listen, I don't know what's going on. But, uh, yeah, that smell that I smell around here, like, I don't know. I smelled it on Marie. And I was just... <laughs> I was just trying to um see, you know, see where that smells going. He's like, oh, uh, uh, it's like, man, I don't, I don't know why you, why you smell like that. Like Marie smells the same way. He's like, mm, yeah. I was like, man, just tell me, just tell me what's, what's going on. Like, why are you even, why are you trying to hold me here? He's like, man, if you want to know something, how about you ask Marie? Like, listen, calm down. What are you, like, listen. He's like, no, I'm not calming down. You, if you want to know something, how about you ask Marie? He's like, man, dang, listen, I just wanted to know. <laughs> you know, nothing. He's like, man, get, you know what, get out. You know what, I came over here to see if I can get the truth because I knew that smell that I smelled in the house was very familiar. And you, you don't even want to tell me that. He's like, what are you talking about? What smell? He's like, the smell that Marie had on her when she came in my room at the Villa, you know exactly what I'm talking about. He's like, you know what? Get out. Get the hell out. Because no, you he's like, no, why why would I you know what? He's like, blah blah you know what, Javi? Leave. You slept with my woman while I was while while we was about to get married. You know what? I don't even care. You know, it, it's fine. You know, I, I cannot stand you right now and I hate you and you were my best friend but now you know what you don't even have to worry about nothing because I will not contact you ever again and for you to sleep with my wife you didn't even have to say it it's all over your face Javi is super angry and he didn't even have to hear Emiliano say that he slept with Marie because he it was all over his face and I think Javi's gonna come in here and Marie kind of just feels, she hears the door push open super hard. And she's like, babe, what's going on? And I think what Javi's going to do is he's going to go ahead and he's going to say, you know what? <laughs> you know what, Marie? All you had to do was tell me. All you had to do was tell me. And she's like, tell you what? What are you talking about, Javi? What are you talking about? He's like, you know what? You know what? Don't even, don't, don't, don't. Because I just got into a fight with Emiliano, and you can probably imagine why. You can imagine why. She's like, "What? Wait, calm down. I can't. What are you talking about? What? What? What do you even mean? What are you talking about, Javi? We're supposed to be moving in together. Like what? Like why? What, like what are you, you? I don't even understand. You got to fighting with Emiliano. What is wrong with you? He's like, you know what, Marie? You know what? You wanna? You, you, do you? Do you really want to go there? You slept with with him you slept with him and you didn't tell me she's like well what the hell do you want me to do Javi he's like the least you could do was told me the least you could have done was told me He's like, we are about to move in our house tomorrow, Javi. Why do you choose now to go over there? And, t and, 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 and she's like, you know what? Stop. Stop. He's like, you know what? I, 
I've worked here. I've done this. I got us that house, Marie. I got us that house. And the least you could do was sleep with my best friend. Like, what is even wrong with you? What's wrong with you? And she's like, whatever, Javi. You're not the only one working here. He's like, you know what, Marie? You know what? You know what? Whatever. Whatever. He's like, you know, I'm going to bed. I'm going. I'm. I'm going to bed. I don't. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to see you. I don't. I don't even want sleep on a couch tonight. He's like, I can't. I don't even know. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know what to say. I, tomorrow's supposed to be the happiest day of me and Javi's life. Like we are actually moving, and he found out about me and Emiliano. And I wonder how. I wonder how. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Of course, if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye, guys.